Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about replacing uh, the extractor uh, roll pin with a stainless steel one. All right, so I've got this stainless steel one over here. All right, you can see it compared to the there's a uh, metallic one. Let's see if I can get some focus. There's a metallic one on this side over here, and then there's a stainless steel one on the other side um now this is one of those areas that's that's going to be very vulnerable that's going to be very prone to breaking um and the place where i got this from i got this from ebay Hold on for a second uh you can find it on ebay and basically the name of the company on l on ebay is j and l however i don't know if that's pronounced okay it's coming from uh, from florida so JNL Shardal, um, but that's where I was able to get, um, where I was able to get the this stainless steel roll pin, uh, and you gotta know the size, okay? Uh, the size is three thirty seconds by five eighths, okay? So here I actually made a note of it in this supply box that I have here, uh, three thirty seconds by five eighths, okay? Uh, and if you're looking at it in uh, I guess uh, metric, it's 0.250 uh, times 0.875. Um, I recommend if you have these nine millimeter ARs, I recommend you get a whole bunch of these. I ordered a five pack. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna probably order another five pack. Uh, so one of the annoying things about um, in nine millimeter uh, direct blowbacks are very very hard on the gun okay so i have an eight ounce buffer weight in there versus the original five that it comes with to kind of soften the recoil up a little bit uh, it's the gun still beats itself up um initially i used to have problems with the hammer pins breaking um once i put in the eight ounce i stopped it seems like that problem stopped but i'm still breaking extractors you're also going to break firing pins uh and the firing pin springs that are inside of this but that that's something that it seems like you can kind of find those pretty easy uh you know lots of companies sell the 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 firing pins and the firing pin springs for these nine millimeter direct blowbacks uh the extractors are are, are the same as what would go into an ar-15 so the firing pin is different right it's your ar-15 firing pin is not going to fit your nine millimeter bolt um, however, the extractor will. Okay, so but the but the thing is that the the size of the roll pin uh, is different. Okay, so that, that's important because the first time I ordered this, I ordered uh, you know I, I, because I, I I knew that it took a standard extractor, and I just assumed that the standard AR-15 roll pin would fit, and it doesn't because on an AR, basically the bolt carrier and the bolt are separate. The bolt is a lot thinner. On a 9mm AR, there's no bolt carrier. This entire thing is just a bolt. So the firing pin has to go through this entire thing rather than the bolt that would be on the inside of this on an AR. Okay? So that's why your, your, your extractor roll pin is of a different size. you got to be aware of this. And if you don't know what you're looking for, uh, this is like one of the, the more difficult things to find. Okay, Because... You know, I mean, they, they, they sell the, the, the firing pins and the firing pin springs. You know, you can use a standard AR-15 extractor, uh, but it seems like a lot of these companies or these, these basically, if you do a general uh, search on the Internet, it's not going to tell you what size roll pin you need. I had to do quite a bit of research. It's 330 seconds by 5.8. Uh, I... I got the replacement last week i got it in just a standard steel one um and then a few days ago i got in the stainless steel one and i'm going to now put that in uh because i want to because i'm basically tired of losing uh extractors because what happens is because these things are like 15 dollars, 10 to 15 dollars um what happens is every time this roll pin breaks uh I lose my extractor and it goes flying off into the woods somewhere and I, and I lose it. Okay, so uh, as far as the extractor, when you're putting it together, take this apart for a second. So these are there's your extractor. Uh, the, you're going to need the spring, right? Um, arguably, all you really need is the extractor and the spring. 
Uh, but then there's like this this little plastic insert that goes inside the spring, and there's there's this O O ring to give it additional cushion. I'm throwing everything you know in the kitchen sink at this because I'm tired of these things breaking. Um, so I've got everything. I got the I got the the spring, which is the most critical part. I got the plastic insert, and I have the O ring. Okay. All right. So I've got everything on this. And the way we're going to put this together is, uh, and you don't have to take out the firing pin. The firing pin can be stay in there. That's fine. I'm going to take my extractor. I'm going to put this in, all right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, well, the, the, the size uh, punch that you need is 330 seconds, okay? Because that's the roll pin size. 330 seconds. That's what's going to pass through this hole over here, all right? So you can hammer that through. Um, but then what I'll use, uh, that's just a little side, this is the three third second one right here, I, have, I already had it out. So that's what's going to pass through this hole over here, 330 seconds. Now somebody had said, does it have to be a roll pin, can it just be a pin? No, because if you just use a pin, it's just going to fall out, right? So you need the roll pin, which is a little bit larger, and it collapses, right? It collapses, and it's going to keep this in place, okay? so. So you're going to basically take this extractor, push this there, and what I'll do is I'll take a larger punch. I also got this set here on eBay. Uh, not that big, but a little bit smaller. And what I do is I, I use a larger punch, and I just kind of press this in to keep this in its place. To apply a little, see, see how I'm, I'm, I'm kind of just pushing this in. I can definitely feel the extra tension from that, from that O-ring. Okay. And I, I'm going to take, oops, careful not to lose these things, and take my roll pin. I'm just going to put press it in just a little bit. Actually, before you even do that, you can just take the extractor out and get it started a little bit. So let's get this thing started just a little bit. There it goes. Let's get it started. Okay, so it's going in nice. I can tell that the tension is perfect. So that's, this is the stainless steel one. Okay, let me give you guys... Look there. All right, so you see how I got it started. Yeah, you can see the firing pin through, through the hole over there. Now, instantly, uh, your nine millimeter AR will work without an extractor, right? Because it's direct blowback. The recoil, it pushes the bolt back. It will also push the case back. So it will also work without an extractor with probably with about 99% reliability. Uh, the one thing that you gotta be careful of is if you break your extractor is if you go to clear the gun and you're pointing the gun down, it's not, if you get around the chamber, the claw, if there's no claw there, nothing's going to grab it. Okay, so as far as clearing the gun, you need the extractor. The other thing I'll do is I'll point the gun up, in which case gravity will usually uh, force it back. Okay, but be aware that the, that, that the gun will cycle um, and with 99% reliability if there's no extractor in this 9mm bolt at all. Okay, so, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this in like that. And then what I'll do is I'm using a, a 364 hole punch to just kind of hold this in place, right? So you see how I'm, I'm pressing up against it, pressing it in just to give it a little bit of tension. Push it back here, push it in. Okay, put it on the wood here. There we go. Hopefully the camera isn't shaking too much. Um, then what I'll do is I'll just push this in a little bit more. Now, initially these hole punches that I got, basically on one side they're really pointy, on the other side they're flat. Um, what I do is I, I use the pointy side up and I push with the flat side. So what I'm doing is I'm actually hammering on the pointy side and over time it gets flat. So that's not a big deal for what I use it for. So I'm gonna put that there. Let's hammer this a little bit more. A little bit more. Perfect. Okay, so that's in. Put you there. Take my roll pin. I got a whole box full of nine millimeter parts here for nine millimeter AR. You got the extra firing pins and the firing pin springs. You can see them here in the bag. All right, so this is something that breaks. Okay, you're gonna need these. You know, if, if you like shooting nine millimeter ARs like I do, and I like it because you can shoot the steel up close. You're gonna need these these pins, okay? Um, you're gonna you these firing pins, right? And then over here I've got 
a whole bag full of extractors, uh, the extractor inserts, the springs, and O-rings. Okay, I got a whole bag of that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this metallic one here that I got, I'm gonna put this back in, Let's see if I can find. Okay, so this is, I have bought a bag of 30 of these metallic, uh, these, uh, I guess, mild steel, these steel, uh, just plain steel roll pins. Let's put you back, so now we got 30 here. So this will, this will be my backup. I, ideally, I wanna use the stainless steel ones, just because the stainless steel is stronger and I, you know, I, I want to minimize the chances that 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 this thing's going to keep breaking. So we're going to see how this works out. We're going to have a bunch of these cotter pins because sometimes the cotter pins that go hold the firing pin in place they do break. Okay. Um, so, like I said, most of these parts, you know, like the the, the, the hardest part to get, uh, I think, is the this extractor roll pin. Uh, not because it's not out there, but you got to know what size you're looking for and it's generally not something that's advertised when you go to palmetto sites they don't sell it so uh so it's it's 330 seconds by five eight okay so let's put you back in this bag over here actually i have one more bolt that i'm gonna update and now this is done get you in there and we will test fire this gun there we go all righty Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope it was useful. This is, again, this is one of those areas that took me a while to figure out what, you know, how to deal with this, this, fire, this roll pin that kept breaking. I will talk to you all soon. Drop some comments below and pass the video around for the benefit of other people. Hey everyone, I want to do a quick test of this, uh, this uh, stainless steel extractor roll pin. See how it's working. If I pinch it back, it is, it is pulling it back. So let's fire a couple of rounds with this. We'll use this tree here for cover. Okay. Again, let's do an extraction here. All right, pulled it out, put it back in. That's empty. Excellent. So yeah, that's that's working uh, working pretty good. Um, so yep, talk to you all soon. Awesome.